Today we're going to be taking a look at the Brophy Tri Ball Mount. So this is going to come in two different colors. You can have one like this, which just has the chrome balls, but if you like black balls, you can grab one that's just going to be completely powder coated black. It's a little bit more low profile. So you do have those options and they're all, all the specs and everything is going to be the same. So let's go ahead and start. It's for the two inch hitch receiver. So make sure you have a two inch. And one thing it's not going to come with is a hitch pin and clip. So definitely go and grab one. The diameter is five eighths of an inch. So just grab one like this because there's not a whole lot of play there. But one thing I would also add is a lock because all you have to do is do this and then, you know, the ball mount goes away. So let's definitely grab a lock for it. And another thing that I would do, I don't like that. It's not something I like to hear whenever I'm mowing in the summers. So what you can do, since this has a solid shank, we do have an anti-rattle device that we designed that can work with these solid shanks. And basically what happens is it just clamps down and it bridges the hitch to the shank of your ball mount and it's gonna keep all of this nice and steady. So grab those couple things and the anti-rattle bolt isn't a necessary item. For me, it is just because I really don't like that. So that there is a solution, it's on our website. So definitely just add it to your cart whenever you grab whatever color you go with. So we are gonna have all three size trailer balls. We're gonna start with the biggest one. So this is gonna be the two and five sixteenth. And it's gonna have a gross trailer weight of 10,000 pounds and a tongue weight of 1,000 pounds. And then if we go ahead and pull this pin, you notice how we have holes on both sides. So you go like this, put that in. And then this is the two inch. So the two inch is gonna have a gross trailer weight of 7,500 pounds and a tongue weight of 750 pounds. All the, every single size ball is gonna be made of steel with a nice chrome finish to it. If you go with this one, the other one's just gonna have powder coat over top of it. So then going down to our last one, which is the smallest, which is an inch and seven eighths. So that's for your coupler. Just make sure and check to see which coupler size you have before you figure out which ball you're gonna use. So this one's gonna have a gross trailer rate weight of 6,000 pounds and tongue weight of 600 pounds. One thing that I noticed, since it's uh, we have holes on both sides, we're gonna have two different measurements when it comes to distances. So with the heavier rated ball, which is the big two and five sixteenths. It's gonna sit a little bit closer to your hitch. So let me give you a measurement from the center of the hitchman hole to the center of the ball with your two and five sixteenths ball. It's gonna be about six and a half inches. And then if we turn this around, notice how the hole's a little bit farther back in the shank. So both for our two inch and the inch and a quarter, or the inch and seven eighths ball, it's gonna be a little bit farther out. So from the center of the hitchman hole to the center of the ball, it's gonna be about eight inches. So there is a little bit of difference between the two there, but it is a straight shank. So we're not gonna get a rise or a drop or anything, but all in all, if you're looking for a ball mount that's gonna get the job done, doesn't matter what trailer it is, this is what you wanna go with. If you were to upgrade from this, maybe you want some more features or just more capacity, we aren't gonna really have an upgrade in the same ballpark, meaning another ball mount that's gonna have all three, it's gonna be a little bit more beefy, and it's gonna have some adjustments is the B&W. Again, this is not in the same ballpark. This is kind of a premium type ball mount, but this is gonna be rated for a decent amount more. It's gonna have a lot more adjustments and it is gonna get the three balls that you're wanting and you can just pull this pin and you don't really have to take it out. So you can keep your lock on there and then with this, no one can steal it. So all you really have to do is just put this in, adjust it and then you're good to go. Cause if you did put a lock if you did put a lock on this one, 
Every single time that you switch the size, you are gonna have to undo the lock, pull it out, rotate it, put it back in, put the pin in, and then lock it. But for me, a lot of the times I'm just using one of these. So if you wanted to avoid that and you wanted an extreme upgrade, the BMW is gonna be the way to go. But again, the BMW is gonna have a lot of adjustments. We can go all the way down like this. We can go all the way up like this. Or you can even flip this around as well to go up top. But my favorite part about it is this. So when you're not using it, you can put it back like this and it stows away. So again, this is a very fancy ball mount, my favorite. It's definitely not in the same ballpark, but it would be an upgrade if you really wanted to go with it. But for my situation, I really don't need that heavy duty ball mount because my Tahoe can't really haul those bigger stuff. So with this, it gives me all three balls and I'm gonna be able to carry those mid to lighter trailers, which is all I really need. This thing, it gets the job done, very entry level and economic choice to just get every single ball you need to haul pretty much any trailer you got. And that is it for a look at the Byers Products Tri-Ball Mount.